Hey everyone, welcome to Bodhi Life Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Mindful Mandala pattern. This one I used Lion Brand's Bon Bon yarn, that's why it's so colorful, but today I'm just going to use this Mainstays 100% acrylic yarn in gray, and this is a weight 4. So um, I'm just going to go over each row, and here is the back, and yeah, let's get started. So for this one, I'm going to use the USI crochet hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter. I'm just going by whatever the yarn suggested. So we're going to start with a magic circle, and if you need help with the magic circle, I'll put a link below to my beginner's videos. So you make a magic circle, and what you're going to do is chain three. One, two, three and then we are going to crochet 10 double crochets into the magic circle. At the end of row one, you're just going to slip stitch to the top of that first stitch, and then we will continue on to row two. To begin row two, we're going to chain three, and then we're going to do a three double crochet puff stitch into the same stitch. So what you're going to do is yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through the first two and you're going to repeat that a total of three times into the same stitch. And then once you have your four stitches, you're going to pull through all four. I'm sorry, four loops. Pull through all four. And then we're going to chain one and into the next stitch, you're going to do another three double crochet puff stitch. Yarn over, insert hook, pull through the first two, pull through the first two, pull through the first two, and then pull through all four loops. And you're just going to continue this pattern with the three double crochet puff stitch and the chain one all the way around. And to finish off row two, you are going to do a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. To begin row three, you're going to chain three, skip the first two stitches, and then double crochet into the next stitch. chain one, and then double crochet into that same stitch. Next you will skip one stitch and then double crochet into the next. Chain one, double crochet into the same stitch. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. So you're going to skip one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the next stitch. At the end of row three, what we are going to do is connect the starting chain as the next stitch. So you're gonna skip one, and then you're going to double crochet into the following stitch. Chain one, 
chain one and then you're going to slip stitch it to the top of the third chain. Row four, we're going to chain one, single crochet two times into that same stitch. So here is one. Some of these stitches might be a little bit tighter. So one and two. Then you're going to single crochet into the next stitch. Then place two single crochet into the next stitch. And this is the pattern that we will follow for the rest of the row. So you will do two single crochet into one stitch, one single crochet into the next, and continue alternating this until the very end. Then we will end row four with a slip stitch into the top stitch. Then moving on to row five, we will chain three, skip two stitches, one, two, and then single crochet into the next. and it creates this little chain space. Chain three, skip two, single crochet into the next. And continue this all the way around for the rest of the row. And at the end of row five, you're going to slip stitch to the bottom of that chain and begin on row six. And in this row, we will be working our stitches into the chain to create the flower petal look. So you'll begin with a single crochet, followed by a half double crochet, pull through all three loops, then do a double crochet yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the second two, then followed by a treble crochet, yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the second two, yarn over, pull through the last two. And you can see that this is making a point. Now we're gonna go back downward. So after this treble crochet, we're going to do a double crochet, then a half double crochet, and then a single crochet. If you need help with any of these stitches, I have an entire playlist of videos for basic stitches. Um, I think I actually have all of these, the single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, and the treble crochet. So continue with this petal pattern all the way around until the end of the row. So here's what it will look like um, before row seven. I think it actually looks really nice without the points on it, but that's what I will show you next. You can see in the one that I already made how pointy the ends are, and that's because I did the Pico stitches. Um, and yeah, we will create the points now for row seven. So here we will start with a chain one and single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next, single crochet into the third stitch and you'll see you're at the top of the flower petal there. So chain three and then go behind the chain and you're going to insert your hook here yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops, and that'll create the pico. Continue single crocheting down the other side of the petal. One, 
two, and three. Here's what it will look like. Got a little bump at the top here, a little point. And you're just gonna continue that onto the next petal here. So single crochet into the next available stitch. One, two, here's the third one at the top of the petal. And you're going to chain three. One, two, three. Turn your work over, insert your hook here. Yarn over, pull through a loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two loops to create your pico. Continue to single crochet down the other side of your petal. And continue this all around for the rest of the row. Here is what your mandala will look like when you are done. It'll be a good idea to use a foam board of some sort to pin down the picots and to get everything in order. You can spray it lightly with some water. Um, here I'm going to leave a long tail and cut my yarn so I can weave in all of my ends. And here is the finished product. I highly recommend pinning it to a board and spraying it with some water and letting it dry and that will help set the shape. Or I think this would be really pretty uh, wrapped onto a hoop. So here's the super colorful version. Again, I really loved doing this one. It was a little bit more difficult changing colors for each row, but you could also use a self-striping yarn and I think it would just be beautiful. So if you make one of these, please tag me on Instagram or Facebook at Bodie Life Crochet. I would love to see your creations and happy stitching!